were damaged or destroyed the Russian overnight. Missile strike the Russian the missiles of the rained down on the city of Zaporizhia. In Zaporizhia, Seven months of requests. One million dollars cost of firing. Most lethal Ukrainian weapon. Finally, U.S. deadliest Attackums missile is already in Ukraine. The Attackums is one weapon that has been too lethal for the West to give to Ukraine. Ukraine requested it for over seven months, all to no avail, until now, when the U.S. seems most likely to ship out the missiles in an infinite number of batches. This change of mind came after Russia did the impossible. On October 10, 2022, a busy Monday morning in Ukraine, Russia unleashed a lethal barrage of missiles against civilian targets. The strikes had no practical military purpose. Russia simply bombarded Ukraine with 84 cruise missiles and 24 drones to cause a humanitarian catastrophe in the country. However, of these missiles and drones fired at Ukraine, President Zelensky said that Ukrainian forces shot down 56. Noting these, Western countries back in Ukraine have doubled down on their commitments to supply Ukraine with not just air defense systems that would shoot down incoming Russian artillery, but also the most advanced Western weapons that would keep the Ukrainian forces in an offensive position as they take on their invaders. One weapon capable of, and with a history of bringing such expectations to fruition, is the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS a weapon that is operated from a platform Ukraine has already grown accustomed to, the HIMARS. This is significant because, combined, there will be no land-based weapon of the Ukrainian forces more lethal than the HIMARS and ATACMS. HIMARS and ATACMS One day after the October 10 attacks on Ukraine, the U.S. delivered four M142 high-mobility artillery rocket systems, more commonly known as HIMARS to Ukraine. This would be the fifth batch of four HIMARS systems that the U.S. would deliver to Ukraine since the start of the war in February, bringing the total number of HIMARS sent from the U.S. to Ukraine to 20 units. The HIMARS has been a source of worry for the invading Russian forces. By the second batch of deliveries, the eight HIMARS in Ukraine at the time successfully destroyed 30 Russian command stations and ammunition storage facilities, dramatically decreasing the intensity of Russian shelling and slowing their advance in eastern Ukraine. Recognizing the lethality of the HIMARS, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu ordered his forces to prioritize destroying them. To Russia, the HIMARS is the most dangerous weapon available to the Ukrainian forces. The HIMARS is an American light multiple rocket launcher developed for the U.S. Army to attack, neutralize, suppress, and destroy targets using indirect precision. It is made up of two main components. The first is the new highly mobile and rugged family of medium tactical vehicles, which, powered by 290 horsepower Caterpillar 3115 ATAAC 6.6 liter diesel engines, have a range of 300 miles and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. The second component, which is mounted on the first, is the launcher that holds, aims, and fires the missiles that wreak havoc on targets. These missiles could be of two types, the GMLRS and the ATACMS. The GMLRS packs a 200-pound high-explosive unitary warhead containing an additional 51-pound PBX-109 high-explosive in a steel blast fragmentation case that shoots out a cluster of 182,000 preformed tungsten fragments on impact. Six GMLRS rockets can be loaded into the HIMARS launcher at a time, each with a maximum range of 57 miles. That's just enough to protect the Ukrainian territory. 
The Attackums, on the other hand, goes even further. With a maximum firing range of 190 miles, the missile can protect Ukrainian territory or fly deep into Russian territory to attack. The Attackums is 13 feet long, 24 inches wide, weighs 3,690 pounds, and wields a 500-pound WDU-18B penetrating high-explosive blast fragmentation warhead. Once fired, the surface-to-surface -surface missile can fly as high as 160,000 feet at a top speed in excess of Mach 3. For precision, the Attackums has a GPS-aided inertial navigation guidance system that ensures the missile strikes its target spot on, or at least within 30 feet of it. The HIMARS can be loaded with a maximum of one Attackums at a time, although its lid is patterned with six circles, like a standard GMLRS rocket lid. This identical pattern makes it more challenging for enemy intelligence to single out and attack the HIMARS trucks that hold the more lethal, more decisive, high-value Attackums rockets. At least six times the $160,000 unit cost of the smaller GMLRS, the cost of firing a single Attackums exceeds $1 million. This cost could soon be reflected in the weapon's capabilities in defending Ukraine, should it need to. However, the Attackums wouldn't be the only heavy rocket artillery involved in the war, as Russia has some representatives of its own, such as the OTR-21 Tochka and 9K-720 Iskander, both of which could take on the Attackums in terms of specifications. U.S. Attackums versus Russian OTR-21 Tochka and Iskander Heavy artillery weapons are decisive weapons. So decisive, in fact, that whichever country between the U.S. and Russia holds the more powerful of these weapons would likely win a conventional battle between both nations. The main contenders for both countries are the Attackums, representing the U.S., the OTR-21 Tochka, representing Russia, and the 9K-720 Iskander, also representing Russia. All three missiles can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, although how far they can deliver these warheads differ greatly. The Attackums has a maximum range of 190 miles, while the Tochka has a maximum range of 43 miles, and the Iskander clocks in with a maximum range of 310 miles. The maximum speed of the Attackums is in excess of Mach 3, while the Tochka is a Mach 5.3, and that of the Iskander is Mach 5.9. In terms of guidance systems, the Attackums has GPS-aided inertial navigation guidance. The Tochka has an inertial guidance system and a passive radar, and the Iskander combines both, using both GPS and inertial guidance. Accuracy. The Attackums usually lands at most 30 feet away from its target. The Tochka, 492 feet away from its target, and the Iskander 22 feet away from its target. In terms of cost, the Attackums cost $1 million, the Tochka cost $300,000, and the Iskander costs $3 million. The performance of the launch platforms of these missiles is also critical. The Attackums can be launched from two different vehicles, the wheeled HIMARS and the track M270 MLRS. The HIMARS is powered by a 290-horsepower Caterpillar 3115 ATAAC 6.6-liter diesel. It has a maximum operational range of 300 miles and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. It has a crew of three and can carry one Attackums rocket at a time. The MLRS is powered by a 600-horsepower Cummins VTA903 diesel engine. It has a maximum operational speed of 300 miles and a top speed of 40 miles per hour. It has a crew of three and can carry two Attackums missiles at a time. The launch platform for the Tochka is the BAZ-5921 Mobile TEL vehicle. The vehicle is powered by a 295 horsepower D20B300 or D20K300 diesel engine. The vehicle has a maximum range of 543.7 miles and a top speed of 43.5 miles per hour. It has a crew of four and can carry only one Tochka missile at a time. 
The launch platform for the Iskender is similar to that of the Tachka with a similar 543.7 mile maximum range and 43.5 mile per hour top speed. The vehicle can also carry only one Iskender missile at a time. It's worth noting that the Iskander is a much newer missile than the other two missiles being considered. The Atakums was introduced into service in 1991. The Tachka entered service in 1976, while the Iskander entered service between 2006 and 2008, at least 15 years after the Atakums and 30 years after the Tachka. The decades of technological advancement have earned the Iskander an edge. However, the U.S. is already developing a 21st century heavy artillery missile of its own, known as the Precision Strike Missile, or PRSM for short. PRSM would be developed into the most advanced rocket artillery of the U.S. Army and retire the Atakums. It would fly the farthest and the fastest while remaining launchable by the same MLRS and HIMARS launch vehicles. However, that's in due time. Today, the most lethal missile that can be launched from the HIMARS remains the Atakums. It's as powerful as Ukraine would like, and more importantly, powerful as Ukraine would need to keep the Russian forces worried from 190 miles away, and hopefully end the war. To increase the chances of ending the war, subscribe to this channel now and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.